Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. A human with short hair and a single stripe on their shirt walks deliberately into the cave, trips on a vine, plummets into the cavern below. In this sepia-toned flashback, they crash to the ground with scattered dirt and greenery. Things pan up to the view above, where the only real sunlight can be found. But never reached again. Undertale. Press C or enter. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess around with that very much. I can spell my own username. No, but it's what we're gonna use. We find a human fallen in a cave on ground with flowers and greenery. Their shirt has two stripes. A stick and a bandage. Zero gold. Unfortunately, most children who walk into caves for unhappy reasons don't bring gold with them. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Somebody ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts out weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't ya? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Wink. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Friendliness pellets. You idiots. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> what a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way.
shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Empty. Level zero. Oops, they're supposed to say LV. Ah, oh, well. No longer empty. There's a soul in here now. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to rule from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not the middle road. You could almost consider this a metaphor for foolish ones killing everything. Brave ones risking the vulnerability of not killing anything and trying their best to survive. Middle road. Well, you didn't manage to befriend everyone and you didn't manage to kill everyone. So have an ending. There's a lot of interesting endings. They're worth going for. But also, they don't unlock the puzzle that, you know, wins the game and lets you proceed to the next world. Also, the next world is only started, so... To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Stay on the path. Press Z to read signs. The first switch is over on the wall. Do you need some help? Press the switch on the wall. Come on, you can do it. Please press this switch, Toriel. Go on, press the switch on the left. Please press this switch too, Toriel. No, no, no! You want to press this other switch. I even labeled it for you. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple, how do you do? You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. Well, I thought it was amusing. Practice talking to the dummy. You can say anything. The dummy will not be bothered. Hmm. You encountered the dummy. Dummy. Attack zero. Defense zero.
cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Dummy stands around absent-mindedly. I don't have any items, so I can't do that. Swing out of better. Alright, let's talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned zero EXP and zero gold. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. No flavor text? I guess since you might have just flown off. Disappointing them. Huh, that's fun. Because of my screen's unusual resolution, every now and then when I turn, Frisk's eyes seem a little larger. See? Slightly larger on my screen. Uh, not sure if that shows up in the recording. Oh well. In other times it's the mouth that seemed bigger. Funny. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I wonder too. You gonna let me? Oh, you're being so attentive, Toriel. I did not remember you being that uh, prone to checking on us. Holy shit. Froggit attacks you. Froggit. Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh. I forgot you only get one action. Damn it, Toriel. I was going to threaten the frog to say that you were going to come over. Oh well. Ah. Ah. That's the only frog encounter you get until you uh, break off to go solo. Grr. Arg. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. She does have a very cute glancing back icon. Sprite? Sprite's the word I want. Puzzles seem a little dangerous for now. A little too dangerous, even. I can read. The music has cut out. We all know what that means, don't we? 